Now you're going to do a little bit of blacksmith. We'll make some J hooks. Uh, J hooks that you can nail into a side of a tree or wood post or anything, and you can, you can hang stuff on them. If you're going hunting, then you can hang your binoc you can nail it in the tree that if you're in a stand, hang your binoculars or whatever else in. This is what they look like. See, so you just nail it in there. You got you something to hang it in. I might be some that I used to hold my metal. <laughs> this is a simple enough little project for just if a person that's just starting out on blacksmith and just want to make something simple. Or if you get bored and you just want something simple. You can make those. <laughs> I make mine at a quarter inch round stock. I cut them uh, about nine to ten inches long. What I'll do is I'll start and I'll hammer at the end and make the the part the nail for it. That's what I'll start out first and then I'll I'll do a little fish tail or squirrel tail, put it in the end and then I'll bend it around. I'll start out by making that square. It's a lot easier to draw that as a square than it is as a circle. Or, not circle, but round. And there we go. It's too cold, but when it gets too cold, sometimes you'll put cracks in it too. Right now, I'm just straightening. I'm not hitting it hard, I'm just trying to make it straight. And see, there's our point. We'll heat it back up, bend it. Now I'm going to make my pen. Hang it over the anvil. Start right there. Just bend it down. Now straighten it up a little bit. Which I'll straighten it up more here in a minute. Now it's time to do the other side. Might be a little squirrel tail in it this time. jigs I was showing. Well, look at that. Now I'm going to add a little bit more to it. I'm going to throw it back in the fire, heat it up again. And I'm going to flatten it out right here just a little bit. Both sides. And then I'm going to heat it up again a little twist in it. Can you read that? 
to come here in the bass. And I think it's somebody standing behind me. That's why you gotta be careful. Know who's around you. Be good. Let's give it another Now clean it off. And there you go. Simple, fast, and fun. After we get our J hook, that's the name of it. it it's a J hook that you nail into the side of the post or a tree. Once you get that made, heat it back up, then quench it in the water. It is mild steel. It won't harden up to. It won't harden up fully, but it will harden it. Harden it. Help harden it up some. Yeah, you got a little gap. Yo. Right into quench water. Now we can use it. If you want to make it look better, you can paint it. What not, or you can put a season finish on it. And one thing to know about your quench water is it's been said that if you've got in the poison oak or poison ivy, it's been said that a blacksmith's quench water will cure poison ivy or poison oak. You just rub it on where you got the rash at and next day it's supposed to be gone. I don't know. I'm not allergic to either one of them. But that's what that's what they say.